Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever are riding a wave of success in the WNBA, showcasing an impressive turnaround with four consecutive wins and five victories in their last six games. On Friday night, the Fever continued their hot streak, defeating the Atlanta Dream 91-79. Clark, a standout rookie guard, played a pivotal role, contributing 16 points on 6 of 12 shooting, including a sharp 4 of 8 from beyond the arc. She also tallied 7 assists, 4 rebounds, and a block, demonstrating her all-around skill set. The Fever set the tone early in the game, posting a season-high 35 points in the first quarter, a dominant start that propelled them to victory. However, as with any rookie season, Clark has faced her share of challenges and learning experiences. In a post-game interview on Friday, Clark was asked to reflect on her most memorable welcome to the WNBA moment. With a light-hearted laugh, she disclosed an incident that had previously gone unnoticed by fans. Honestly, I've been popped on a couple of screens. I actually ruptured my eardrum when we were in New York on a tough screen, so if I had to pick one right now, it would probably be that, Clark revealed. But like, great screens. I just didn't hear them, so it was kind of my own fault. But, yeah, I'd probably pick those. Clark's revelation sheds light on a particularly tough game against the New York Liberty, where she exited a 104-68 loss holding her left ear and was tended to by fever trainer Todd Champlin. The injury, which resulted from a hard screen, kept her out for the remainder of the game. This absence now makes sense in retrospect, as Clark did not return to the court after the incident. Following the game against the Liberty, Clark had a four-day break to recover before the Fever's next matchup against the Washington Mystics on June 7. This period of rest proved beneficial, as Clark bounced back remarkably. After a career-worst performance against the Liberty, where she managed only three points on one 4-10 shooting, she delivered a career-best showing against the Mystics. Clark scored 30 points on 8 of 15 shooting, marking a significant turnaround and showcasing her resilience. This resurgence sparked the Fever's current successful run, where they have won five of their last six games. Clark's ability to overcome adversity and perform at a high level has been a key factor in the team's success. Looking ahead, Clark and the Fever are set to face the Chicago Sky on Sunday at 3 p.m., a game that will be broadcast on ESPN. As the Fever continue their push in the WNBA, Clark's journey and contributions will undoubtedly be a focal point for fans and analysts alike.